Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna continue our, I don't know what I really wanna call this sort of series of videos. I kinda like to pack on like three, four or five videos at a time, but this one is sort of like, like mindset, motivational, philosophical approach to marketing and how to keep yourself from getting your screws loose. So today's topic is a continuation of the last video where we talked about if you suck. So if you didn't watch that, wait, wait, there you go. There's the, that's the video, there you go. If you didn't watch that video, go ahead and check it out now. And then I want you to, if you did, of course, stick with me and we're gonna talk about lightning strikes right after this. All right, so today's, today's video is a continuation of stuff that I've been thinking about lately that started with this video that we called is, I don't even know what, what we, like, do, do you suck? Or it's, it's okay to suck. And this is all about marketing, just to be, just to be clear. <laughs> okay. I kind of came out weird. Uh, anyways, back on track here. One of the things that I've observed over years, having brought in a lot of marketing projects and of course managed and orchestrated, you know, many, many, many of them over the years is that a lot of folks that are running local businesses or trying to promote a project or whatever, they get sunk in frustration. And I figured out, I think I figured out why. So I want to talk to you about it. If you're frustrated, you're going to love this because this is, this is going to change everything for you. One of the things that we see online with all marketing um, and a lot of marketers, and, and, and frankly, I don't want to be guilty of that, which is why I'm making this video, is the story of the lightning strike. So that's kind of what I said at the beginning of this video. I probably did a terrible job of kind of pre- introducing this, but the story of the lightning strike to me is this, we did this one thing and it made us a million dollars. We did this one, there's, you only need one webinar and you will do six figures. Or um, this ad converts for every business. It will, you know, grow your business. You only need one app. Uh, or this email series template um, guaranteed whatever results, right? So these are all pitches from, frankly, guys like me or gals like me um, that I would like to distance myself from right now because I don't believe it. Uh, frankly, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's lightning strikes. Now that's, that, I don't wanna say that there aren't because guess what there also are? There are shark attacks and there are plane crashes and there are hurricanes and there are tornadoes. So there are these things. And in marketing, yeah. There is no question there are times when somebody hits one out of the park. It does happen. However, for most of us, and statistically for you know the vast majority of marketing projects in general, lightning doesn't strike like that. Uh, it's, it's a progression to get good results. It takes weeks, months, years, of planning and execution and optimizing and improving your campaigns and your ad cycles and your messaging. I mean, if you look at the best marketing on the planet right now, some of the most valuable brands, they didn't start them last week. They didn't get, you know, and you think, well, wait, Zach, that's the whole company. That's a big thing or whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the marketing path. Just think, of, just carve that piece out because that's what we're here to talk about today. The brand, the development of the brand, the awareness, the the message has been refined, but and to the point that's very effective, right? So again, like just citing some big stuff: McDonald's, Nike, Walmart. I love the Walmart one, right? Because I remember when Walmart, like, I don't want to go to Walmart. I felt like like I was being a cheapskate, or like I was poor if I went there. I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not afraid to say that, uh, but. Now, because of refined messaging over the last, I'd say 15 years, we've all been trained to think we're smart if we go to Walmart because we save if we go to Walmart and saving is smart. 
So they've done a really good job of retraining the perception about their brand over the last decade plus. So now going to Walmart is perceived as a smart household exercise, okay? Wise shoppers go to Walmart and take advantage of everything they have to offer and save money, right? So that's an example of a long effort. They didn't get to be known that way because of one webinar, excuse me, or one ad campaign. Hell no, it took them almost a generation to get from bargain cheapskate kind of poor man's store to this brand that supports the American household, you know, <laughs> literally. So, so your business, let's go back to your business. Are you gonna grow your business this year because it gets struck by lightning because you do one marketing thing? Is it gonna change your whole business? See, here's the problem. You're, and me and many folks, I mean, I'm guilty of this, which is why I wanna make this video. It's like, when I was starting the agency here and even in some other businesses that I had, I felt like I could do, if I could just get this one effing thing, I'd make more money. I would double sales. I would blah, 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 you know, whatever. And every all my problems would go away, right? And guess what? It never happened, which is why I wanna make this video. Because I actually now, looking back, have the wisdom to realize that, you know what, Zach, it wasn't, it was never that that got the businesses that I built in this agency to where it is now. It was actually just the incremental push every week, month, and year over years <laughs> to get to where things are better than where they were. Now, are they where we want them to be? Well, hell no. No business is where you want it to be. Even Walmart, even the best brands in the world, somebody is in those boardrooms like more. We we gotta be better. We gotta, this, this is shit. That needs to be improved, da, 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 right? So even what if, you know, for us small folks, we're looking at these gigantic successes and we're like, man, if we could just be like that. But the reality is they're, sitting in that place high up on the mountain and they're like, nope, we got one more ledge to get up and I can't even see past that one and we gotta keep climbing, right? So they, they're not happy even then. And so this is the story about marketing. And this is the story of this video, which is, and, and the story of why it's okay to suck, which was the previous video, right? Is that you, you're you not gonna change your business with a lightning bolt, right? I guess the other, where people use that as like the shiny object syndrome, right? Like you're like, you see like a fish lure <laughs> go, go off to try to get hooked by that and try another thing and try another thing. I'm gonna take you on the next couple of videos through a mindset and philosophical approach to how to market your business that is gonna protect you from all of that bullshit and get you result, okay? The problem, and I'm warning you now, and you know, wise wise men have said this, and I'm gonna say it again, is that it takes patience and persistence, and uh, you know, you may not be a person that wants to hear that right now, because you might need a 911 remedy or something, uh, but I'm sorry to tell you that marketing in general is about patience and persistence and consistency, not, it's not a shark attack uh, in general, okay? And and if somebody's trying to sell you a lightning bolt, then I, I think I'd run the other way because I, I think that the, I think they might have one and they might have delivered one. And then frankly, we've we've had a couple. We've had a couple lightning strikes. I, I'm not gonna lie, it's been awesome. I, and I love to remember those moments, but the daily work, of growing businesses and growing our clients' businesses is not like that at all. And it probably isn't like that in your business. So if you're frustrated because you feel like, like the movement is not dramatic enough, and there, then here's the reason why you're frustrated. It's not because you're doing something wrong. It's because you're looking at a bunch of promotional crap from agencies and 
marketing blogs and guru people that are telling you that this one there's this one thing that's going to make all your problems go away. And so the context is what's screwing with your head. You're being messaged with one thing can fix everything, but your reality is one thing never actually does it. And so you're like, I'm pissed. But don't be pissed because that is all just sales strategy and horse shit. And it really statistically doesn't happen often in the way that it's being sold. But what really grows businesses is the Walmart story. It is a decade of consistently pivoting into the direction that you want your business to go. You want your marketing to go. You want your brand perception to go. You want your offers to go. And you want your customer base to go, right? So it's, it's consistently pushing the boulder every day. Pressure, pressure, pressure every day that's going to get you there. Okay. So don't be frustrated. Be happy that you're in the process and, and, and be grateful that you're working on something and that you're being creative and l l turn away from all of that stuff that is bad context for your perceptions about your business. Okay. Just go get them and grind every day, do a little every day. And in a month, a quarter and a year, you're going to see uh, um, um, awesome results. Okay. So stick with me because uh, I got more on this that is even more cool than this little uplifting talk. And if this did uplift you, go ahead and like the video for me and subscribe because I don't want you to miss the next one because it's full of deep secrets about how to actually make this work and feel great about it every week as you progress. So I'll see you on the next one.